Hi, my name is Maya. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install floating shelves without the use of wall studs. So thankfully, I'm making this video because someone else made a video about it and it really helped me. So um, I figured I might as well just spread the knowledge. So I purchased these shelves from Urban Legacy and they're beautiful. Really, really highly recommend them. When I read the, view, the reviews, however, the bolts were not recommended the bolts that came inside with everything. So I watched a video and I decided not to install them into a wall stud because I think I have metal wall studs. I tried drilling through and it did not work out. So I'm actually going to use something called a toggle bolt. Check it out. Um, you can get this at Home Depot or wherever. This is how it looks. Basically you have a bolt that's just, you know, two inches or three inches long, what have you and it has this claw which basically clamps into the wall after you push it through a hole and then you just twist and twist and twist with a screwdriver after it's clamped into that wall and uh, the rating on it is pretty good it you know you can pretty much tug on these shelves and see that they're not going anywhere so I'm just gonna show you how I do this what I did first was um, I bought the one on the box that you get it'll tell you what size the hole needs to be. This one said it needed to be 3 8 but I kind of needed to wiggle the impact driver around a bit in order to actually get it to where these little clampies fit. Another thing that I did was I had originally brought, bought um, self-drilling screws thinking that was going to work, but that was before I figured out I had metal studs. But they came with these neoprene washers, so I just took them off of what I had there. And I do recommend um, these washers. They're pretty good. So I just took them off of what I had and put them on these for added support. So the first thing I did was I grabbed this. I made my holes, as you can see. Um, and then what you'll notice is, again, you want the you want the claw facing you want the claw facing in this direction so that it clamps onto the wall. Send in the bottom one, and then I send in the top one, and I just push it through. When it gets to the other side, it's going to snap back open, and then you kind of just give it a little tug, you know. And then, this part is a little tricky, but... Um, you don't want the, if the clamp didn't actually dig into the wall, you don't want it to just be spinning on the other side. So what I've been doing is I've just been like tugging on the bracket while I screw it in there. So I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but that's just what works for me. So I take my little screwdriver and I... And you'll feel it, you'll feel it getting closer. Yeah, this one isn't really going in. That's fine. Or you could just hold it. You could also hold it out. But at some point you're going to have to let go. So I've been holding it from the washer. And it's getting closer and closer to the bracket. I let it go. have a pretty sturdy shelf there. I'll put them on so you can see. There's one. And oh, there's the other. They came out really nice. I really like these shelves. They're absolutely beautiful. And uh, they're strong, they're sturdy, they hold everything that I need. So I hope this video helps somebody. I know that whoever posted the previous video, I'll actually link her video below because without that, I would these shelves, these shelves would have never gotten installed. So yeah, I hope you enjoy your shelves, whatever floating shelves you get. And I hope that these toggle bolts help you out.
Have a good one.